opinion on it. We have all heard about the big poem Odyssey written by Homer. In that, the character Odyssey trusts his good friend Mentor to look after his son Telemachus. This was because Odyssey was going to fight the great Trojan War. He may never return. Odyssey believed in Mentor because Mentor was a wise person. He always liked to give his child's knowledge to everyone else. And therefore, Odyssey trusted Mentor to look after his son. Even after 3,000 years, we use the word Mentor for a man who likes to share knowledge and is also is a trustworthy person. Good afternoon, Toastmasters and guests. The role of Mentor in Toastmasters is to teach, guide, and shape the professional development of the mentee. And the role of mentee in Toastmasters is to get constructive feedback from the mentor. In mentee, we are all privileged to get such wonderful mentors. Apart from the regular mentors, we also have role player mentors and tag player mentors as well. The success of a, a club like Mentally all depends on the members' willingness to perform as mentors. The, uh, the transition of mentors is very essential. Those who are true, uh, those who are today mentors were yesterday's students, and today's students are tomorrow's mentors. This cycle is very important for a successful Toastmaster club. There are three basic criteria for becoming a mentor. One, they should be a Toastmaster for a minimum period of six months. Second, they should have uh, undertaken mentor training. And third is that they should have some kind of affiliation towards what part the mentee needs development. Now, we, you all may ask questions. What is the importance of us having a mentor? We can all develop by ourselves, not only in Toastmasters, but also in our professional lives. We have 40% better chance of career development if we have a mentor. And it also is a 33% better self-confidence, and we are 30% more likely to take risks if we have a mentor. Before coming into the mentoring skills model, I would like to ask a question. How many of you believe that it's the mentor roles to follow the mentee, or it's the mentee roles to follow the mentor? Yes, it's a mentee's role to follow the mentor. Because sometimes the mentor may be stuck in their own personal work, growth, but uh, it's the mentee's role to uh, follow them and push them. Now, although there are some uh, criteria in which the ment mentor and the mentee share together, and the first one is listening actively. Active listening is one of the most basic skills of mentoring. Without this, no other skills can be built upon. If we, if we listen actively, the other person feels acknowledged. For example, we can use phrases like you know, leaning forward or uh, summarizing the entire speech what they were trying to tell to us to make them notice that they, we are actively listening. And the second is building trust. Building trust takes a hell lot of time, but it's effectively built. It's a very long partnership between the mentor and the mentee. And the third is encouragement. There is nothing like encouragement. If a mentee feels encouraged and confident, he, he, he wants to do more to the club. And the last and the final one is identifying goals and current reality. Identifying goals of, and the vision of the mentor of the mentee is very important for the mentor. They should also have a good grasp of the current reality before the uh, for the mentor and the mentee. Now we all know both uh, both these people who are both these pictures. The first person, the first picture you can see Warren Buffett and Bill Gates. Warren Buffett is the third richest person in the planet, and Bill Gates is the second richest person in the planet. Even after 30 years, Warren Buffett is being mentored by is, is, uh, Bill Gates is mentored by Warren Buffett, even though he reached so many heights. And similarly, we can see Swami Vivekananda and Ramakrishna. If it was not for Swami Ramakrishna, we would not have seen Swami Vivekananda deliver the famous speech at Chicago in 1893. There are two lessons which are to be learned from the, both these examples. The first one is that. Even though the mentee went way past what the mentor could do, but still they remained grounded and there was no ego in always going back to their mentor. And the second important lesson that they can get from this is that the, even though they have reached a very big heights, the mentee, in, in their area of expertise, they always rely on a mentor for inputs to them. This will give a neutral input from them. Now, we have all learned about uh, coaching and mentor. But some people think that coaching and mentor is the same, but uh, they, they, are, they are completely different, uh, uh, primarily because of three reasons. The first is, a coach is a short-term approach. For example, a coach may be for six months, and a mentor is in a long-term approach. And the second point is, 
approach is more favorable towards an agenda which is created by wealthy mentee, while, uh, while a mentor is creates the agenda and sets it for himself for the mentee to be followed. And the third point is that the coach has a structured meeting. For example, they meet like once or one, once a week or once in a month. For the mentor, the mentee meets the mentor on a need basis. For example, if they are going to give a speech or if they are going to play a role, they can always approach the mentor. It's always on a need basis. We have all uh, heard about the virtual mentoring. That is, due to the advent of technology, uh, physical communication is not present today. We use uh, various techniques like WhatsApp and Skype to uh, get feedbacks from a mentor. This is a very uh, new technology which is introduced in the Toastmasters. Our mentor may be in a different country or we, we have never physically seen them. But uh, due, due to technology, we can get in contact with them. I have even heard in mentally where some of the past members used to say the entire speech recording to their mentor to get a review of them. Because what we usually do is that we only send the speech script, uh, script to our mentor. But this week gives a more comprehensive review like body gesture, voice modulation. Due to advent of technology and virtual mentoring, we could get a comprehensive review. And finally, I have to say my experience as a mentee. The uh, president of Mentally Toastmaster Club, BTM Sundaram, sir, he's my mentor. And I have to say that he is an excellent mentor. I'm not saying this because he's, my, he's the club president, but I'm saying it from, the, from my heart, bottom of my heart. He even used to appreciate me in WhatsApp group, which I feel very acknowledged. And even last time, when I was doing the TMOD and he was the presiding officer, he appreciated me very much. That gave confidence to me and do better. Even when I got this project, I got stagnated for a very long time, to be honest. But he always pushed me and called me back, Dinesh, what are you doing? And he always pushed me to do better. And in fact, in the, for the role of mentor, and in fact we have, as I said, we have role play mentors in Midley. I am doing the mentoring for the first time, time was, and I hope to do a better job in the future. Thank you. Over to you.